Are you ready for some good news? The king has found you, brought you out of hiding, and invited you to his banquet table. As best I can tell, Mephibosheth is the only character in the Bible whose name means shame. His name means shame. He was Jonathan's son, and his story is, well, it's the story of the gospel. In a remarkable turn of events, the newly anointed David became friends with King Saul's son, Jonathan. Their friendship was deep and covenantal. The friendship was so unlikely because King Saul felt so threatened by David and, in fact, tried to kill God's new man for the throne. And in their unlikely covenant, Jonathan agreed to help protect David from angry King Saul. In turn, David agreed to look after Jonathan's descendants once David took the throne. Well, after David took the throne and both Saul and Jonathan had been killed, David wanted to fulfill his promise to Jonathan. Thus began the search for any living relative of Jonathan. So enter Mephibosheth. Because new monarchs customarily killed or exiled the living descendants of the former king because they'd be a threat to the throne, Mephibosheth had spent his life hiding in fear of the king that he didn't know. But David sought him out. Imagine the day. Soldiers knocked at the door. Mephibosheth, come with us. The king has need of you. You can imagine his terror. Well, in 2 Samuel chapter 9, we see this cowering Mephibosheth, fearful for his life, trembles at David's feet. And he says to David, What is your servant that you should show regard for a dead dog such as I? You know, we might say the same thing before an almighty God if we don't really know him. But David, far from hurting Mephibosheth, showed him kindness for the sake of Jonathan, promising the son that he'd eat at David's royal table always. Mephibosheth was blessed not by his own merit, but by Jonathan's. See, when you accept Christ, you're invited to the banquet table of grace because of a covenant that was made between the Father and the Son. And you and I deserve to be exiled or executed for our sin, but instead we've been invited to the King's table. And that's the gospel. Well, that's today's good news, and you can get more like it by clicking right here. Better yet, be sure to subscribe and start out every day with good news. And I hope you enjoy something delicious from the table of God's grace today.